Our first guests of the day are members of the St. Kitts Music Festival, Damien Hobson, Chair and Head of Marketing, and Alistair Williams, Executive Director. The St. Kitts Music Festival is one of the most diverse musical experiences in the Caribbean. And today, Damien and Alistair are here to update us on the June 23rd to 25th musical, Extravaganza. This event is highly anticipated here in the Federation and is continuing to grow in popularity regionally and internationally. Welcome, good morning, SK and Welcome. Good, good morning. morning. Pleasure to have you, although I was anticipating maybe one of you with a banjo and a guitar since we're <laughs> <laughs> Next up, next up. <laughs> Definitely. All right, so let's talk about the Fringe events. What updates do you have for us? Yeah. Okay, well, we, as you quite rightfully said, we are now in that um, pre-festival period. We are, we are presenting a number of fringe events. Um, on, on Saturday coming is our bar crawl, and that will take us around the island so that um, the whole population could feel a part of the 2022 festival. Um, come next week, Monday to Wednesday, we have what we call front stage at Independence Square. That is an opportunity for some of our upcoming, young upcoming artists to get in our stage for them to really explore their inner creativity okay. and talents and so on and to expose them to the wider community. Um, and of course, that will also be supplemented by other fringe events put on by the private sector because we are trying to make sure that this is a, a partnership between the private and, and public okay. sectors. Um, we also have on Wednesday our welcome reception, and this is our opportunity to welcome our guests, particularly any visiting artists, okay. as well as uh, our media personnel who may be coming in to the Federation specifically for the festival. At the end of the day, the project is all about tourism, it's, all, it's really about brands and kids, okay. and so we want to make sure they get a warm welcome and they get an opportunity to really get a first-hand experience as to what the Kittishan hospitality is all about and what one can expect when they do visit us for an extended period of time. So that happens on Wednesday at the Royal Sinkis Hotel and then following the welcome reception is what we call Escape, put on by Express Events, one of our partners. And it is also a sort of welcome party, so okay. to speak, a welcome fit. So that is the kickoff for the festival period. And of course, after that, you know, we have the three nights of concerts, Thursday to Saturday, and then of course, White Sands and the other fringe events bringing down the curtain on this year's event. Mm, lovely. I heard you, I think I've just lost my train of talk, but I was trying to, there are some persons that are going around with other fringe events that are not related to the music festival. How would we know that they are not music festival related? Well, but first of all, there was a call for private promoters okay. and, you know, organizers of events to, you know, register with the festival to come in and see us and to speak to us and so on. And those events that are endorsed by the festival would have our logo and we will promote them as well um, to the general public. I mean, however, Although there are some that are endorsed by us, um, the whole idea is to be able to bring some life okay. to the Federation, um, not just in Sinkis, but also in Nevis, during this festive period. So we, we want people to feel a vibe from the time they step off the plane or the boat, whatever means of transportation use, that you know, once they come in this week, next week, into the Federation. Our long time term goal is to expand the festival mm -hmm. so it's not just a three-day event okay. but actually it could be a one week and eventually a two week nice. you know event so you know it's all about um, not only putting heads in beds but at the same time creating some economic activity okay. in the federation so the longer one can stay in the federation the more impact you know the spend will be yes. and so that is our long-term mission we started out with, with three nights, well it was four nights, and then we had to cut back to three. Then, you know, um, sometime in, in 2018, 2019, we, we thought about exploring the idea again of expanding. And, you know, we are happy that several partners came on board, so we were able to add Escape and, and uh, White Sand became, you know, a more integral part of the family. Mm -hmm. And um, now we are seeing more and more persons coming on board 
several fets, several after parties, and so on. And that is what we want. We want persons okay. to see it as, you know, a big party in St. Kitts and Nevis. And so, you know, but we can't do everything ourselves. So okay, yeah. we depend heavily on the, the public event promoters, at, you know, in particular, to partner with us and let's make the experience one that is, you know, um, excellent. I mean, as our um, tagline says, it's an experience like no other, and that is what we're looking forward okay. for everyone walking away feeling as if it was worth being in St. Kitts for the festival period. Okay. Yeah, but one of the things we're doing though, um, our marketing team goes around looking for events that are not authorized by us and we usually put something on social media okay. because we want it to be authorized. Our logo is special, it's, it belongs to the organization okay. and we can't just allow every, any and anyone to use the okay. logo. So, yeah, yeah. But we haven't had a lot of those. We've sent out a number of press releases about it and people have been com compliant. Oh, okay. No, All right, that's good to know. All right, so let's talk about the, the event in particular, the artists. You know, how much time will each artist be given? We know it's full line and we know who's here, but uh, how, much art, how much time will each one be given? Different times. Really? <laughs> no, con con contra contractually there are different times allotted oh. to them, and a lot depends on the night, it depends on their mood. So they they they, they sign up for between forty five and sixty minutes, so they have a a fifty minute window. Okay. Depends on the crowd reaction, but most of our headliners will do at least forty five to sixty minutes. Oh, okay. That is the idea. Okay, that's great. That's great. Looking forward to anyone in particular. I know I'm putting you on the spot. <laughs> I haven't heard Berries in a long time, so I'm, I'm oh. looking forward to hearing Berries on Saturday night. But you know what? All the artists are good this year. We have a really, really good lineup, and um, everybody seems to be enthusiastic about it. So we're looking forward to an excellent Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I would tell you that construction has started. So if you drive by the Kim Conning Stadium, mm -hmm. you see the VIP tents up. The stage started last evening. So by Saturday, you'll be hearing sound at the Kim Conning Stadium. So we are well advanced of where we normally are. Because usually our Thursday we're still getting ready, but we're going to be ready by this weekend. So it's it's all coming together now. It's now time to give away three music festival tickets and maybe two more. Mm. One for each night. This giveaway was hosted on our social media platform and we received a whopping 208 valid commenters. 174 on Instagram and 34 on Facebook at Studio 327 Inc. It's now time for us to find out who the lucky winners are. So let's play. And I understand we're doing it night by night, so we're going to see who the winner is of the ticket on June 23rd. Let's go. We've got a digital wheel <laughs> that is about to be spun. There it is. Colors. I know everybody has fancy names on social <laughs> media, so you guys might have to help me with the winner. Ooh! Unless it's a very easy one. Okay, wow. so congratulations, Tyrencia. Congratulations, Tyrencia. You won a music festival ticket for night one. For night one, awesome. yes. And that's just one of three, honestly. Yes, one so let's of see three. Maybe one of five. For night, <laughs> <laughs> for night two, June 24th. And the wheel is going to be spun now. You see, if I knew about this before, I would have made a comment. Enter, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's all reds. Ooh. All right. So, so this is SC20? Yep. So congrats to SC20. You have won your tickets for night two. That's the 24th of June. They say three is the lucky number? Mm. Is that it? Let me see if there will be a color change at three. Blue, yes. red. Oh my gosh, oh. Jalen. Jalen, oh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Let's just say Jalen.dxp. <laughs> <laughs> you won for night number see. three. All right, yes. so our guest, uh, Damien, was very, very generous. You see what I have yes. in my hand? I want you to come back to me right now. I have in my hand a cell phone. Cortensi was saying that there might be two more giveaways. Damien was gracious enough to say that he's willing to give uh, two. Uh, extra tickets to the first two callers to this number. Listen up. 664-7327. 664-7327. The phone is in my hand. If you call now, and you are the first person, provided that I can answer the phone, <laughs> you will <laughs> receive a lucky ticket. So we're going to continue the interview. When that phone rings, we will Stop. interrupt ourselves and continue. Yes, yes. 
So it was announced. Oh wow. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. Speaker, speaker. Good day. You are on Good Morning SKN. Who am I speaking with, please? Hi, good morning. My name is Ariel Shiverton. Your name is Ariel Shiverton? Ariel. Ariel Shiverton? Hi. Hi, Ariel. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, could you spell your name first, please? A D. A D. I E. I E L. Shiverton. M -E. yes. uh, okay, thank you very much. I've got your number. You have won yourself a lucky ticket. There is another call coming in and I'm going to swipe up right now. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Good day. You are on your live and good morning. Asking, yeah. Who am I speaking with, please? You're speaking with Rochelle Huggins. Rochelle Huggins. Rochelle Huggins, you have won yourself a free ticket to the St. Kitts Music Festival. Thank you for participating. Thanks to our guests for volunteering. And thank you for watching. Good morning, I scan. All right. It's great. Thank you. All right. So this is it. We are done. I hear the phone <laughs> ringing. Phone ringing so out. In. You know what? Here, I'm going to put this phone down. I don't want to take two to get it. But it's real. We only did two, and it's yes. three nights. So maybe you should take one more call. Wow. Did you hear that, guys? We're taking one more call. 664 7327. One additional winner. Call again. Let's see what's going on here. Six six four. They haven't called. I missed a call. Does that count? <laughs> can, I, can I give the winner? Can I give the <laughs> it's the same number. Oh, they're calling Ooh. back. Same one. I was so tempted to call you back, but you called and you won yourself a lucky ticket. Who am I speaking with, please? I'm sorry. You have to say it again. Yes. Khadija Adams. Khadija Adams. Okay, congratulations. You won yourself a lucky ticket courtesy of our guests here for the St. Kitts Music Festival. Thank you so much for participating. Thank you to our guests again. All right. Thank you. You are very welcome. Wow. All righty, so there you go. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay, that was a whole lot of fun. We, made it like for you, right? <laughs> we need to, we need to. So have the charters, have, have they been filling up? Well, we know all the American flights are full now. Okay. Um, you can't get a flight Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Oh. Um, the main reason why we put on the, the chat really was to help us with the artists. So okay. we know a number of our artists are coming in on Wednesday. I'm not sure what the final number is because okay. it's really handled by the SKTA, the okay. Southern Authority. But we have used it for our artists, so we expect it to be full. Oh, lovely, lovely. So let's talk. This is year 26. I mean, that's quite a feat, isn't it? Year 26. We started in 1996. Yeah, but we skipped, we skipped a number of years. Yeah. So this is really only, what, 24th? We've got to do some math. Okay. Years, yes. COVID, yes. <laughs> yes. Fair enough. But you see, in, in all fairness, that wasn't your fault. That was COVID. Fault. No, it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right, just so making it a little better. 24 years. 24, 24 years. 26, yeah. 24. Okay, 24. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, why do you think the festival continues to be so appealing after so many years? You know what? It's different. Okay. Um, when it started in 1996, the idea was to fill heads in beds because at the time it was a slow season. It still is a slow season. Yeah. And so it's to provide economic activity. We have grown the festival, as Alistair said, from three to four to yeah. three days to now an entire week of activities. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to expand it to even more days of activities. I think the fact that you get so many different genres um, for only 135 DC, 50, 50 yeah. US dollars to see all these genres on, 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 on different nights. Mm -hmm. I think that adds to the appeal. And people just love St. Kitts. We provide a vibe. It's a vibe. From the time you land at RLB, the events, all the events, evening events. Mm -hmm. For the last two years, we've been, trying, we've been ending at 1.30 a.m. That idea was to spur on what economic activity. So you can go on the strip, you can go party. So this year, our, our fringe activities, a number of events after the festival. So it's really to provide a, a, a wonderful atmosphere for our visitors and our locals. And I think that is the key to what we've accomplished. Yes, definitely. Well, I think our formula is what really made the festival what it is today. I remember when we started out in 96, the trend at that time was to do a jazz festival. Okay. And we decided we're not going to do a jazz festival. We're going to punch above our weight and we decided, listen, we're going to do a music festival because that, that gave us more opportunity to, you know, play with different genres of music and so on. And so, you know, we went in a different direction to what was the norm back then. And it worked for us. 
And um, even though many have come with bigger budgets, um, larger human resource base, you know, that everything going for them, but they could not withstand the test of time. Mm -hmm. But we have, yeah, and we are yes. one of the longest standing in the region. Um, we may very well be the longest, okay. um, because most of the others that came about when we did, they are no more. So I think people just love the formula and love the idea that you, you blend um, music with the natural hospitality of petitions and divisions and you know the whole vibes as the chairman said. Okay. When I'm listening to you I get the sense that the St. Kitts Music Festival, the St. Kitts stands for all of us and I love the way that you yeah. said the most, blend with the natural vibes. Of course Correct. definitely I mean we see it as the people's festival okay. and that is what we and I think that is one of the reasons to why we have been successful because after each festival we listen to hear what our patrons yeah, are saying, exactly. you know, both local, regional, international, and so we tweak it the next year. Right. And so, you know, we, we, we tend to do a lot more listening, and um, that has helped us over the years. Okay. So I saw in a recent press conference that you spoke on the pandemic, because we're still going through a pandemic. Yeah. Um, what is the committee's stance on this? And other than us um, protecting ourselves, what, what is there in place? when we arrive at the festival? Well, we, we are following the, the, the health authorities' guidelines. Okay. So everything we do, we conform to them. They're part of our committee. They, they look at the venue. So for us at the venue, there'll be, lot, there'll be lots of sanitizing machines. Okay. Um, but beyond that, it's really about your personal protection. Okay. Um, it's going to be an, very, it's an open event. Okay. Lots of wind. Burdock is very windy. <laughs> <laughs> Kim Carson is extremely like windy that. at night. Fan it away. Correct. <laughs> Blow um, away. So okay. We'll follow those, the guidelines of the health authority. All right. So in our last uh, few moments together, I would like to give you an opportunity to remind us again. You just said bird rock, but more specifically, remind us of the venue. Look into that camera right there. And of course, the dates of the festival. The Kim Collins Stadium, the 23rd to the 25th of June, the 22nd edition of the Senkis Music Festival. On Thursday evening, we have New Vibes, Small Axe, Grandmasters, Rukas H.E., Massacre, Voice, Lyrical, Nad Nadia Batson, Destro, Bungie Gallen, and Fair and Lions. On Friday the 24th, we have Dejour, Highlight, iMark, Chanel Murr, Anthony B., Maxi Priest, Sean Paul, Ashanti, and Wale. Mm. On Saturday, we have Popcorn, Vinyl Powell, Byron Messiah, Christopher Martin, Jada Kingdom, Otimi, Keisha Cole, and Barry Salmon. Mm, it's going to be a fantastic three nights of festival. The show, the gates, the show starts at seven o'clock. Gates open at seven o'clock. The show starts at seven o'clock. Be on time. It's going to be a wonderful atmosphere, the bars, the food, the venue, the stage, the sound. We have a new stage and sound provider, Sound 2000 St. Martin. It's going to be an excellent experience you have at the venue and we're just inviting everyone to come out. 